Hi, this is Scott Marshman with eCabinet Skips and Tricks. Have you ever needed to use an octagon column in any of your projects? Well, I've made one that is resizable. Only thing you have to do is type in the width and the height and the depth, and it will resize for you automatically. So, stay tuned and see how I made it. Okay, let's get started building this thing. And um, what I've done was I used a cabinet, standard frameless upper cab or base cabinet from E Cabinets Standard Library. So let me get this going here and uh, bring in that cabinet. And the first thing I want to do is go into Settings and Preferences, and I'm going to remove the toe kick. So I'm going to set that to zero and this to zero, and uncheck has toe. And I can go OK and go back to main. Now I want to change the width and the depth of the cabinet to 9.5 because that's the size column we're going to be making there. And click enter or hit enter. And um, we need to go into settings and preferences and make some adjustments to the top and the deck. And I'm doing this one step at a time just mostly so that you can see exactly how to do this. Um, you could go in there and set all of these at one time, but I'm going to go to the top, and I want the top flush on everything. Left side, right side, and the back. I also want the deck flush on everything. Left side, right side, and back. And I'm going to click OK. Now you can see how the top is flush, and the deck is flush. Now we need to adjust the insets for the top of the left and right end and the bottom of the left and right end as well as the back. So let's go to settings preferences again and I want to start on the back. Okay, and the back top inset. I want it to be negative the top thickness and okay. And I'm using the new feature, the um, offset or the formula editor there and the bottom inset formula editor back bottom inset so I want it to be a negative the deck thickness and OK and left end I'm going to do the same thing um, the top I want to be negative the top OK and the bottom negative the bottom or the deck and OK and right end all the same negative top ok and negative bottom or negative deck ok and when I click ok you'll see how they adjust and um, that is so that if for whatever reason you want to use half inch material for your tops and your deck this will automatically adjust for you now we need to do with the insets for our um, left end, right end, and back. And what we want is we want these to automatically adjust whenever we change the size of the cabinet. And we need them inset so that they line up with the flat edge of our octagon here. And what I've done was, I, um, if you haven't viewed it yet, you need to check out my octagon calculator. And um, I came up with this divisor here, which calculates the line length of our um, octagon. Um, if you look here in, in uh, SketchUp, what it does is it comes up with this length right here. Okay, based on the part size. And the part size is based on from flat to flat. In other words, from this side to this side, in our case, we're dealing with nine and a half, and um, it takes this divisor, or divide you divide this by that, and you come up with the line length. And what I've done was I made um, a formula here to use in uh, the constraints area to constrain that the, the geometry on the cuts for the top and the uh, big shelves. But I was able to modify this just a little bit and use it for our offsets for our ends and backs. So let me show you how I did that. What we'll do is go into settings and preferences and let's start with the back first. It's a little bit different. I want to go to the left end set here and I'm going to have open parentheses and I need the left end 
thickness. So I need to go minus the left end thickness and in parentheses because what we have to do is um, let or make e cabinets think that this back is actually coming out flush to the ends. Right now we have it setting to the inside of the ends. So minus the left end thickness is it going to extend that back out that one. Well we need to um, add our um, formula here that we had in uh, made up in uh, Excel. This formula right here. Okay so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open parentheses and I need to go we're working with the back so I need to go to cabinet width minus the cabinet width divided by our divisor which is 2.414213 and in parentheses and I need to divide that by 2 so what it's doing is it's making this right here is making the cabinets think that uh, this is going all the way over to here and then we're knocking off this from it so I'm going to go to OK and we got uh, 2 and 1 32nd alright now let's do the other side so we need open parentheses and we're dealing with the right end so we need the right end thickness and that needs to be a negative right end thickness the thickness here and in parentheses and plus open parentheses the cabinet width minus the cabinet width divided by 2.414213 in parentheses and divide that by 2 and ok so we got that and the uh, left end and right end um, is a little bit different. We don't need to fool e cabinets into thinking that these have any additional offsets. So we're going to go to the front here and we're going to put open parentheses and we're going to go cabinet depth minus cabinet depth um, divided by 2.2, two, um, not 2, 2, yeah, 2.2. Two four one four nope keep getting that confused there okay two point four one four two one three and in parentheses and divide that by two and okay two and twenty five thirty seconds let's go to the back and do the same thing so open parentheses cabinet depth minus cabinet depth divided by minus cabinet depth divided by our divisor 414213 and in parentheses and divide that by 2 and ok now the right end is the same so if you want to fast forward through this feel free I'm going to go ahead and knock it out um, here the depth minus the depth divided by our divisor two one three in parentheses and divided by two and okay two and twenty five thirty seconds so let's go ahead and get this one done cabinet depth minus cabinet depth divided by our divisor 2.2 and parentheses and divide that by 2 and ok so <clears throat> we got our left end and our back ok so I'm going to go ok and this should be 3 and 15 sixteenths and it is 3 and 15 and 3 and 15 all right so now if we resize this thing for example if I go 21 by 21 enter you'll see that they automatically change and it maintains this offset that's exactly what we want. Nine and a half by nine and a half. 
and enter. And now we need to put us some big shelves in here. Um, and if I can take the time to explain what I'm doing here, these tops here, I'm going to make those phantom parts, the top and the deck. Um, what I'm using them for is to constrain our stretchers and what have you that we're going to put in here. And the uh, fixed shelves are going to be to actually aid in the assembly of this column. So these are just helpers. Um, we're going to make them phantom parts here in a minute. So let's go into settings and preferences and I want to set up my add shelf settings. And I need a front end set of, I'm going to use my formula editor again. I'm going to use um, the back thickness okay because our stretchers are going to be the same thickness as our back and our left and right in obviously okay so back would be three quarters there I'm going to click OK and that is a positive inset because we want it to set in by that amount so let's go into stretcher and our shelf and partition editor here I'm going to highlight my opening and I'm going to add a shelf, a fixed shelf. Okay. And now I'm going to highlight this opening and I'm going to adjust the bottom, which is the bottom of this opening. I'm going to make it zero to go all the way to the top there. And I'm going to put me another one in and I'm going to adjust the, the top this time. I want this to go all the way down to here and leave zero. So zero, make sure I got top and enter and go back to main. and there it is so now when we change the size of the cabinet everything's going to adjust properly and um, we're using our tops and we got them inset just right so that you know we're looking at nine and a half we want eight we can type in eight we don't have to do any math to figure out what we need to make it to be a certain size so with that being said um, that'll wrap it up for this first video on making our resizable octagon column. Be sure to check out part two where I'll be making these cuts in part editor and constraining them in constraint manager. If this video helped you please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and as always please subscribe to my channel and have a good day.